I'm Betsy McGregor. My name is Yolanda Jones. My name is Maria Monse. I'm Lynn Zimmer. My name is Jessica Melnick, and I work with the Ontario Public Interest Research Group, OPERG, of Peterborough. I'm the Executive Director of the YWCA of Peterborough, Victoria and Halliburton. I am a photographer. I'm one of the organizers with the Red Pashmina Campaign. And I work on the Red Pashmina Campaign to uh, celebrate, empower and connect women here and around the world. Every message that we are being delivered by the media is just sit back, watch TV, be complacent. When I see people that actually say no, I am going to do something with my life to make make this world even like just a, a little iota better than be, better than it is right now and more towards what I think it should be. Like it's great. It's great and I can't think of any anything more meaningful than doing that. They may not be, you know, packaged in this nice, neat, little, superficial ideal of what a hero should be or what we perceive a hero to be. A hero is, has got to be an everyday hero. I consider heroism about having courage and about being inspiring to people. You don't have to be, um, someone who has a lot of money and a lot of uh, notoriety to make a difference. I actually think you have to be careful about heroes. Most of them, if not all of them, have their vulnerabilities. They may not be perfect either. Have, have had their moments of being at their lowest, have fallen down. It's in those occasions when they've stepped up to the plate despite their own struggles, when they've accepted life's challenges. Knowing that most likely you will be alone, you will swim counter current, you will raise questions that aren't frequently raised. And in the process, lifted someone else up. For me, that's what a hero is. I think that their stories are inspiring. I think we need to hear them. I think other women need to hear them. Um, so that they can be inspired, so that they can feel like maybe they can do something with whatever resources they have. And I think we need to recognize those women who are doing that and proving that every day.